Who is the most underrated wrestler in the WWE to you? There's a list of guys because you yes. know Cedric Alexander. There's uh, Ricochet. There's Cesaro. There's Shinsuke Nakamura. The list goes on and on, but I feel like an underutilized talent is probably Cedric Alexander. Probably one of the more underrated guys because he's he's one of those guys he can do anything. That's the biggest thing I learned when I was watching him on the Cruiserweight Classics. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like he's like a total waste because all I do is see him show up and lose and not get the respect he deserves. And I feel like, you know, he should be one of those guys competing for the Intercontinental or one of those guys that's constantly like, man, this dude might be the dude to get the, to get the United States and then build him up properly. But it's just not happening. And I feel kind of bad because sometimes, sometimes I don't even see him week in and week out. And I'm just like, he's the background, dude. I'm like, come on, man. Exactly. You didn't bring them out of bring them up from Cruiserweight Classic to do this. How is it the guy he beat, Buddy Murphy, is getting more love and attention than him? And I'm just like, come on, man. I think what they should do with Cedric is give him a chance, or if not, put him in the hurt business. At least you'll have him doing something that was just better than nothing, and we'll go from there. Um, I think that's my take. Um, I probably I wish I could throw a female wrestler in there, but a lot of the women's wrestler get you used way better, way more utilized, way more properly than the men. It's just kind of a sad thing, but it's the truth. And uh, that is exactly if I were to throw, truth, yeah, yeah if I were to throw out one more wrestler, it'd be Shinsuke because mm-hmm. I feel like Shinsuke never got the fair shake, especially after the uh, AJ Styles part. I feel like Shinsuke should have won the belt. Kasinski was white hot, and on top of that, ever and he was putting on great matches. I'm just like, why is it that he didn't win the belt? Why is it that he just fizzled out? This is like a wasted opportunity. This is terrible. Yeah. And then I go, I'm glad to see him now with the tag team belts. I personally will put him in the main title. I mean, I mean, in the top card again. Yeah. That's just me. Who, who do you say is the most underrated, though, man? So here's my list. All those people you named is definitely on my list. Uh, Nakamura, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's really underrated. He could be almost my number one, but I'm going to put Sami Zayn as my number two. Uh, some other people that's just on my list as well, Kevin Owens. But I can't have Kevin Owens be the uh, the number one most underrated wrestler because at least he's gotten a championship run. Big E is another one that's underrated. Sheamus is underrated. We always talk about Cesaro's greatness, uh, but at least I can say Cesaro's been tag team champion multiple times. Um, so that's one good thing about uh, Cesaro. However, this wrestler in particular, my number one is Ricochet. What have they done to Ricochet, man? I had so much Ever high hopes. Ever since he got chewed up by Brock Lesnar, it was a wrap. We never heard from Ricochet again. I'm joking. Exactly. Like, just... that's, I had high hopes for Ricochet uh, when he's let when he left the NXT to make join the main roster. It's like, what are they doing? What are they doing with him? I understand he's not probably the best uh, talker on the mic, but he is one of the best in ring wrestlers for sure. And of course, just give him more opportunities so he can get more experience with developing his character, just like Apollo Cruz. But Ricochet deserves a lot more love. Like, he was great on NXT. Even He was even better on the mic on NXT. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on with what they're doing with him on the main roster. He is the most underrated wrestler in the WWE to me today. Ricochet. Mm. Ricochet? Ricochet. Yes. And that's a pretty good pick because after his, like, uh, I want to say his United States run and after the, the Brock Lesnar thing... It just nothing has gone his way in the right way, and I just feel kind of bad for him though, because that is to me that is your next Rey Mysterio, that is your superhero, and you're just squandering him, man. You know, mm-hmm. it's terrible. But hey, man, we just have to wait and see, because hopefully they got a plan for everything. But if they don't. This is terrible. Mm-hmm.